It's extremely important, crucial and necessary to work on yourself, to work on you as an individual. Um, many people, they, you know, they ch they're chasing success, okay? And success, most people think is financial, you know, lots of money, lots of material possessions, such as a nice car, a big house, lots of holidays per year. Um, so people define, the way we've been sort of programmed is that that is success. Um, you know, uh, yes, money brings freedom, but it doesn't bring happiness. It, it, you can't call it directly success. Um, and the reason I say that it's important and necessary to work on ourselves is, let me give you an example and then I'll explain more. But basically, you know, t for example, you might become an, a millionaire overnight. So tomorrow you become a millionaire. And you have all the material possessions now. So you have your, your fast car, your, your big house, your mansion and the rest of it. But you're still a slave to your desires. You know, your base desires. You're still a slave to your desires. Or you still have them bad habits. You still have them bad traits that make you feel, that make you feel so low and so unworthy. So you've had, you've, you've gained the success. So people think you're successful, but you as a person, you're not content. You're not satisfied with life because you're still, um, you're still giving into your desires. So for example, I'll start basic. For example, you know, and, and the, the point I'm trying to make here is that the ultimate success or the greatest flex is working on yourself, improving yourself every day. Don't compare yourself with others. You know, this person's got a nice car, so I want a nice car. Don't compare yourself with others at all. Uh, the only person you should be competing with is yourself yesterday. So every single day you're making improvements, you're making progress, you're, be uh, you're benefiting yourself, you're becoming a better person. So for example, you know, if you're the type of person like me, for example, we're always running late. We're always late. Whenever, whenever there's a meeting, an appointment, um, or someone's waiting for you outside, you say two minutes, but you take 10 minutes, you know, we're always late and organized. Then the true and ultimate success for me is, you know, over a period of few months or maybe even a couple of years, but you improve yourself in that aspect, you know? So you can look back at life and say, you know, I achieved this. Material possessions, they come and go, come and go overnight, literally. Um, or another example would be, for example, you know, um, you do, you have certain bad habits that are haram, for example, you know, for example, um, smoking or smoking weed or watching things you're not supposed to be watching or clubbing women, whatever, whatever it is, you know, you're going through certain, you have certain bad habits that you keep falling into, you know, your, your desires overcome you then don't you think the greatest success would be you overcoming that desire? You, you know, as I say, you become financially wealthy. You have lots of money, but you're still, for example, uh, you're still smoking weed, even though you, you've been trying to stop smoking weed for so long, but you're still smoking weed and then you feel the next morning you wake up and you don't feel too good about yourself. Or you watch pornography and masturbate and you know you just succumb to your desires you did it's something you didn't want to do but you're doing it that money or you know those material possessions is not success the success would be that you've overcome your desires you are in control of your day-to-day -day life you are doing good things you know exactly you know you're organized you're you're on time you're benefiting people you're you're doing well in your studies you're doing well in your work uh, people around you are happy, your family is happy, your wife is happy, your children are happy, or your husband is happy, for example. Um, your parents are happy. And, you know, you're achieving, you're, you're, you're working towards your passion. And why? Because you achieved the greatest success, which is you improved yourself over a constant period of time. So just a quick video to explain basically that, you know, I believe that the greatest success is improving yourself from yesterday. So removing bad habits, changing them with good ones, not being overcome by your desires. I think this is a way more bigger success than, uh, you know, material possessions, 
money and this kind of thing don't get me wrong those things are good i'm not saying don't don't try to you know as as a human as 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 a muslim as well we should aim we should aim high and yes uh financial success brings freedom but don't ever think it brings you happiness because as i say you might uh you might be trying to stop something and you know your desires overcome you so are you are you actually going to be truly happy no i don't think so you know, for example, the, the reason why I've made this video, should have said th said this at the start, but I was just thinking, you know, I have, have a few plans for the future going forward. But I'm thinking, you know, like, what about if I achieve those goals, but I'm still the same person, you know, as an individual, I'm still the same person doing negative things or have bad habits. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be in that situation. I'd rather improve myself whilst achieving those goals. So... Um, so I thought I'll share that with you. I hope it benefits you and leave your comments and I'm, I'm interested to hear what your thoughts are. So leave your comments down below.